Do you want to lift more weight in a deadlift? I'm going to show you the trick to do that right here today. Tom Rainey with Black Flag Athletics talking about the deadlift and some tricks or some things we can do to fix imbalances that we may have that are causing us to kind of leak some power or leak the potential to generate energy through the body in order for us to pull more weight. So, if I asked you to deadlift right now, most of us would step to the bar and opt for a mixed grip, right? Dominant hand on top, non-dominant hand on the bottom. What that does, and I'm not arguing that is the strongest pulling position due to the, the, the ability to grip the bar a little bit more efficiently and effectively, but what that does, it does two things. It creates asymmetries and imbalances. So if we just train that way every time we pull a barbell, we're gonna create some imbalances. That's the first thing. The second thing is we increase the potential for injury in both the shoulder here and the bicep down here. So as soon as I rotate my arm forward, I put my shoulder in a compromised position as opposed to when I rotate my hand back down, it pulls the shoulder blade back into position, the shoulder back into position. So that humeral head will sit back in the socket here, allow me to use both my lats and my pecs as I engage to stand up versus that forward rotation of the hand. That forward rotation of the hand, again, allows me to grip the bar a little bit more forcefully, but at the same time, it causes me to rotate. If I do this enough or more or often enough, I will then start to create imbalances, usually a compensation of some sort. You will find that most power lifters will mix their grips around throughout training, oftentimes only going to the full on mixed deadlift grip when they go into competition. So very simple setup. Instead of doing this grip here, we're just gonna take our thumbs, put them on our thighs. From there, I'm just gonna go ahead, I'm gonna hinge back. So hips go back, shoulders go forward as I reach down and grab the bar. Once I grab the bar, I'm gonna go ahead and grip the bar as hard as I can. That's gonna stimulate the central nervous system to get muscles fired, muscle fibers firing as efficiently and as effectively as we possibly can at that time. I'm gonna be flat footed and push harder through the ground. So as I grab the bar here, if you're an Olympic lifter or if you were a crossfitter and you enjoy the Olympic lifts, you can certainly work on your hook grip here to help with it a little bit more. So I'm gonna bend on over, I'm gonna hook grip and stand on up, pull through, hips go back, shoulders go forward, hinging back down at the deadlift. This will also, for people who have a hard time finding hip position, may help you a little bit more because it's gonna bring your shoulders a little bit further forward, allowing for your hips to stay a little bit higher. So next time you go into deadlift, if you're looking for long-term development, try that double overhand grip or that clean grip. Thanks for joining us, we'll see you soon. Fam on three, one, two, three. Ah!